Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to attempt to build a functional boat in one minute, then five minutes, then 30 minutes. And then we can see just how different these final results will end up being given how much time gets put into each one of them. So uh, what's going to qualify for a functional boat for this is I think it's just anything that drives while floating on the water. Now, if you're new to the channel, I've actually done this kind of video with cars, uh, flyers, hovercrafts, I think, and um, most recently turrets. So if you enjoy this video after watching it all the way through, you should go ahead and check out some of those if you haven't already. But today the focus is boats and we're starting with the 60 second or one minute boat design. So I gotta be honest, unlike the turret and the hovercraft one, I'm not too worried about the 60 second one. I don't think it's that hard to get just a basic functional thing that can drive across the water, to be honest. Getting a good one with a lot of functionality is gonna be another story, but that's where the five and 30 minute builds are gonna come into play. Okay, here it goes. Let's get 60 seconds on the clock. I think I've got everything I'm gonna need in my inventory. I hope so. I hope I'm not just completely forgetting something that's gonna ruin this, but uh, hey, if I do, that's what happens. Let's find out. Out. In three, two, one, begin. 60 seconds to build a functional boat. We're putting our seat at the front and I'm actually gonna put two thrusters at the back. We need steering bearings for each thruster. Yeah, this, I'm actually like, I'm not even rushing right now. This is how easy this is. We put steering on these. We can hook these thrusters directly into the seat. Let's set the thruster settings on uh, upper mid. Uh, let me check that my steering is actually going to go. No, nope, this needs to be opposite. I've, I'm already 30 seconds in and I think this is functional. Let's do a quick test to make sure I didn't just come. Oh my goodness, it doesn't float. It doesn't float. It doesn't float. I was wrong. I was wrong. This is harder than I thought. All right, 18 seconds. Oh, please make it float. Please float. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, uh, all right, just more of this. Couple over here. Uh, 10 seconds left. Oh, we gotta fill that in. And couple over here. Okay, I really hope this floats now. We have three seconds left <laughs> and we're done. Oh no. I really thought it was gonna float with the first platform. These bubble blocks are supposed to be so buoyant. Okay, please, please float. You know what? Look, look at that, look. What, what did I say? What did I say? We have to be able to float on the water and drive across the water. What are we doing right now? Other than floating on the water and driving across the water. We might be a little bit upside. Oh, this is a really interesting perspective. Whoa, I've never like, I've never done this before. This is so cool. Whoa. It feels like I'm in an underwater cave, but like I'm on the surface of a cave pocket underwater where the, the water doesn't actually fill up the entire cave. This is so cool. I'm so happy I made this uh, mistake. This is such a happy accident. All right, but anyway, this, this is what's really going on right now. This looks much less interesting. <laughs> See, I guess the big issue with the 60 seconds is uh, you don't really have a lot of time to micromanage your center of mass. And I really, I didn't think that one seat would be that much heavier than two thrusters. What are the weights here? This is a weight of five and these are a weight of three. Okay, I guess it's just a lot heavier, isn't it? So that was the one minute boat, a uh, fantastic piece of engineering right there. It, uh, it, it transports you to an underwater cave realm as long as you stay in strict first person camera. Now we have the five minute boat. So we get to spend five times longer on this one. So for this, I think I'm actually gonna use some other types of block because there's a thing about uh, the way that Scrap Mechanic calculates buoyancy. In case you were not already aware, if you just have a single block of all the same type of, oh man, look how buoyant that is. But yeah, if you just, <laughs> this is so bouncy. But yeah, if you just have it all as a single type of block like this, as you can see, um, it just kind of calculates it as one mass rather than all of the individual blocks. So that's why this thing is floating off center like this. It doesn't calculate the difference between this side of it versus this side of it. So it's not actually um, evening out how buoyant it should be. But on the other hand, if I divide this in half, 
and put a different type of material to separate the two halves. Now you can see when I uh, tilt it like this and then take it off the lift, it'll actually level itself off again while well, just in that one axis. It's not going to do it in this axis because it doesn't actually see a difference between this side and that side. In which case, all I got to do is divide the four corners. And now, no matter what I do to this thing, it should center itself back flat again, other than the fact that this side has less uh, bubble block on it. But yeah, now you can see it's not, it's no longer just going to stay on this weird axis, just floating there defying physics. So anyway, that's my long-winded explanation of why I want to use two different types of materials. It's going to make the boat more stable. And let's see how much better we can make this boat. Here we go in three, two, one, begin. And actually, I shouldn't have pressed start already because I, as soon as I said begin, I realized I wanted a different type of seat. So this time I'm actually going to be using a, um, a three wide seat because I want there to be a central part of the nose up here. So I am putting a wood block down as a central divider. And then this is going to go up to the front of the boat. This one, I'm going to try to make this one more boat shape. Um, making hulls is not always the easiest thing to do for me, but I'm going to try. I have five minutes. That gives me some time to mess around. Did I put two on that side? Yeah, I put two layers of this over here. All right, and we're going to go a little bit like that. And I don't know what I'm doing right now. I'm just kind of making stuff up as I go along. I should have just built this out of all wood, to be honest. It probably would have looked a lot better. But we're not on like the, the, the five minute build is not the aesthetic build. It's the function build. The one minute build is the just just pray you survive. The five minute build is the get get the functionality down. Uh, now I'm gonna leave myself a little bit more room. You know, I think I can even leave myself a little bit more room in here. Leave a little bit more open, a little bit more cozy. Uh, the tough part is I am going to need room for thrusters to be able to turn. So I'm gonna do double thrusters on this as well. So thruster there, thruster there. Uh, bubble blocks on these as well. All right, three and a half minutes left. All right, let's do a quick, uh, buoyancy check on these. See how my center of mass is in relation to the rest because that was a big old surprise in the last one all right there we go okay so this time this seat is not quite as heavy this is actually feeling pretty nice holy cow that's a lot of speed look at this all right we pretty much we already have a functional boat like way better than what we've had before and our seat actually stays above the water so that's an added bonus there this is going to be a fun one. All right, now let's just try to make it look a little bit better, I suppose. This is starting to look better. This is actually, that hull's looking way better. Look at that. Do I still float all right? Did that change my floating ability at all? Okay, no, that's still looking great. I'm a fan of this so far. All right, minute and a half left. See, this is, this is the difference here. I don't really know what else I could... Oh, I know what else I could add to this thing. Here, let's get a suspension piece. Let's search for a mug. All right, we definitely need something up on the front here like that. There we go. Suspension mug on the front. And I think I can add a little bit of buoyancy to the back. But where? How? I guess like this. Let's add some wedges. Oh, this is going to change the weight by a lot. I may need to delete the buoyancy I just added to the back. We got 40 seconds left. Yeah, let me get rid of that buoyancy I added. Ah, get rid of that. Oh, that was actually kind of... I think I almost deleted up to the wrong spot. Gonna add a little bit more to the front right here. Here we go. We got 10 seconds left. All right. Add another wedge. Uh oh. Five, four, three, two. Yeah. All right. There we go. And time is up. I hope I didn't. I think I may have uh, made it a little bit worse with um, the added wedges on the front. It added some extra weight, which makes it nose down just a little bit but actually this isn't so bad i can hold down the thrust okay hold on something hold on a second something doesn't feel right all right if i just go straight i'm just gonna try to go straight ready all right why does it turn me so much where's that resistance coming from or like oh and now it turns me the other way huh that's actually really interesting the wedges seem to have added some weird, uh, like, friction effect in the water, which normally, like, this game, if you're new to Scrap Mechanic or haven't really experimented with boats a lot, it 
as far as I know, it doesn't really work at all like real life where like you can't really make paddles that'll cause your boat to turn by adding extra water resistance to one side. So the fact that this does that right there is actually really strange to me. There's also no aerodynamics in this game either. So I don't know, I've never experienced that. But this is a, a much, much better boat than the one minute one already. So I have no idea what I'm gonna build for a, uh, a 30 minute one. I can go all out on that one. Let's head back to the shore. Yeah, the only change I would make with this is um, evening out the, the center of mass because right now I'm a little bit front heavy. And look at that, perfect landing. Almost. Oh, right, okay. we're just gonna fix it real quick. Yep, just like that. Yeah, just gonna. Perfect. That was worth it. Okay, we've got the one minute version down. We've got the five minute version down. Now let's get 30 minutes on the clock and see what I'm gonna come up with. What I have in mind is I think I'm gonna try to do like a catamaran style where there's two hulls. I think that's gonna have the best chance of being the most stable at higher speeds and it'll also be more interesting to try to uh, drive. All right, you know what? I have plenty of time. Let's just start the clock and get on building. I can make all these decisions as I build it. Here we go in three, two, one, begin. All right, this one. I don't think I'm gonna use bubble block. I don't think I need the bubble block at all because this, the wood block is really buoyant. Um, just on its own. It's got high level of buoyancy, nine. Um, I mean, the, 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 the bubble plastic block even has less buoyancy, but it's buoyancy to weight ratio is better. So I think overall it actually has more um, buoyancy per block in the water. But I might as well build one hull separately and then make it symmetric and just duplicate it and build one on the other side too. So how big do I want this thing to be? All right, there we go. So we will have the hull be like that. Maybe it's gonna be a little bit more rounded on the top and the bottom, yeah. All right, just so y'all know, I don't really know what I'm doing design-wise as far as boats goes. Like, I'm not a boat person. I don't know much about boats. I've been on boats, but that's, that's pretty much it. Just been on boats. Didn't really ask many questions about the boats I've been on. I just was on them. All right, now I'm just trying to shape this and round it out a little bit more. Uh, how's that looking so far? Like, that doesn't look too bad. All right, we're gonna go with that. This is gonna be the one half of it. So, save that, duplicate it, and then if I delete the center of this one, so that way we retain the center piece. Now I can just weld that right there, and there we go. Symmetrical. And here, I'll add a little bit of that to round it off a little bit more. See? Oh yeah, that, that actually worked out really well. Um, I think I'll paint this up first because I'm, I'm about to duplicate it. All right, two hulls. Now, what am I building for the middle? I don't know, what do catamarans look like? I guess I can connect them like through a center point right here. I don't know, I'm just, I'm not basing this off of anything in particular. I'm building the scrap boat, okay? This is gonna be my version of a boat for my needs. Uh, where am I gonna put my thrust? You know what? I'm going to... Oh, the thrust. Oh, that's inconvenient. The thrust is two by two. It is not going to fit very well in here unless I do it like over here. All right. I think that's good. We'll put these on max power. Um, actually, I may need to add one on both sides. Yeah, we're going to have a lot more power on this one because we are uh, going to make this a lot heavier. All right. We're already more than five minutes in. We've surpassed the amount of time we built on the other ones. Okay, so though that's gonna be where our forward thrust is coming from. This does not have turning right now. I wanna add like an interesting shape to this as it comes out. Kind of like, I don't know, like a stingray or something. I don't know, I just wanna make it interesting. I'm worried I'm gonna spend too much time on aesthetics and then like all, all of a sudden I'm gonna be out of time and I haven't finished any of the functionality at all. That looks kinda cool. All right, now let's just do the same thing going in this direction. All right, does that look symmetrical? That looks kinda symmetrical to me. I feel like these, yeah. That looks good. Oh no, that does not look good. Something is wrong. Is something wrong? Or am I just confusing myself? I think I'm just confusing myself because that's not attached. All right, well, let's attach it. Where do I attach it? One, two, three, four, five on the sixth one from the center. One, two, three, four, five, six. Did I measure that right? Oh no, that's backwards. <laughs> All right, that was a mistake. Okay, so from the front. One, two, three, four, five, six, yes. And the front is over here. There. All right, is that symmetrical? Did I do it? Why am I not counting right? 
What am I miscounting here? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I was supposed to be counting from here, not here. That was my mistake. Okay. All right. Well, third time's a charm. All right. Now, did I really just do it backwards again? I really just did it backwards again. I can't believe this. All right. The front goes to the front. Okay. Now, now I did it. I did. I did. It. That took too many tries. Too many tries, but I've done it. This is going to be a really interesting boat. Oh, I forgot to separate block types. Okay, no, this is fine. I will do um, something fancy design-wise. Like, here, let's add... Uh, what am I replacing? I don't know. I don't know. Bubble block. We don't want bubble block anymore. So, let's take this. We're going to go... One, two, three, four. So, the fourth part of it is going to be a different material. This is what's going to give us our left to right uh, designation of buoyancy calculations. All right, there we go. So now we have some design, like it's like a stripe, you know, some stripes in there. Now what to do with the front? I think I'm gonna make the front a little bit more rounded, you know, kind of still going with the stingray feel, I guess. Yeah, that's not too bad. Kind of like in the way this looks right now. Let's see how it sits in the water. Quick uh, float test. That's looking pretty good, actually. I like how it sits in the water with pretty much the body of it is right on the water, which I know kind of defeats the catamaran purpose. Like that shouldn't be on the water. Maybe I can add some more buoyancy to these somehow. Oh no, I might actually need to do that because uh, the more I add to the top of this in the next 18 minutes, the more uh, it's gonna weigh down in the water. So I might need to replace some of these with bubble block just to get that extra buoyancy. All right, but let's start actually figuring out what we're doing here. Did I, this doesn't have a center point. I need this to have a center point. Wait, how, how did this happen? Where is this not? Symmetrical. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What? How did this happen? These two line up to those two. This one lines up to that one. And then this one needs to go. This entire one needs to go. So if this is the center now, this should only be one. One, two, three, four. How did this get, like, it's, it has a center point back here and everything's symmetrical, but then up here, it's not symmetrical. And I don't, I am so confused right now. One, I am spending so much time fixing, I don't, mistakes, I don't even understand how I made them. Okay, one, two. Oh, I think I just fixed it. I think it's symmetrical now. Have I done it? Are you symmetrical now? I think it is symmetrical now. Okay, that was really confusing for a bit. Okay, so that's gonna be the driver's seat. All right, so this thing does not have any steering whatsoever yet, but I just wanna see how it feels. Okay, that is okay so far, but how am I gonna steer? Also, the center of thrust... Center of thrust is a little bit low right now, but I can give these, uh, these hulls more of a keel, I think. And then I'll add some buoyancy to the bottom and it'll add some weight below the center, which will even out our center of thrust. All right, now let's see how that feels in comparison. Definitely looks a little bit more unique. Okay, let's ford the river. All right, well, look at that. We're definitely, we're not tilting back as much as we go. It actually feels really stable going across. All right, we don't have steering yet. Let's let's start implementing some functionality. I only have 13 minutes left. I gotta be honest, this is taking way longer to do a nice boat than I thought it was going to, and it's not even turning out to be a nice boat. I can't really steer with these. A rudder functionality would be so nice, but I don't think that's going to work. I could put a rudder. I'm gonna add a forward rudder. So it's definitely gonna add a decent amount of weight to the front, but let's see. Let's see what, what it makes of it. Is that gonna be able to steer? No, that's not gonna be good. I need to go one more block. All right, I'll have those be on the outside. Three should be good. I don't have reverse either yet. I wanted to do reverse on this thing. All right, three thrusters on the outside. One, two, three. Max power, max power, max power. All right, now let's hook all of these up and we'll see how does this affect things. This could even out our trajectory too. We were leaning back a little bit, but maybe this will even it out. It might be too much though. I might lean forward now, which was the mistake I made last time. Yeah, getting basic functionality super quick, um, getting, fine tuning it to be like optimized and stuff, really time consuming. There we go. Now I can turn, but the center of thrust is still way too high. So you know what? Let me just delete the top ones. Oh wait, no, the center of thrust is low, actually, the way that was working. So let me delete the bottom ones. Now let's see what happens. That's better. Ow! 
Okay, gotta be careful of the rocks. And now I have steering. What I don't have yet is reverse, though. So yeah, I wanted these to look like they were rudders. So here, let me continue building down here. Oh boy, I only got nine minutes left. Um, What do I need now? I feel like just some backwards thrusters is gonna be the easiest thing and then put like a button for reverse. I'm gonna carve some reverse. We don't need to go backwards very fast. So I'm just gonna carve a reverse in here. And now we should have at least a reverse. Yeah, that's actually not too bad. That's pretty quick. All right, and then of course we can go way faster forward. The thrust, center of thrust is still kind of low. I could add more to the keels. All right, I hope I'm doing this symmetrically. With, with my luck, probably not. Okay, did that help with our center? I mean, we still pitch up, but it's kind of nice. I could add some more weight to the front, I suppose. Yeah, let's add a, uh, a metal layer. This is gonna make my center of thrust actually, like, it's gonna make it worse, doesn't it? If I add it to the top like that, but it also puts weight, it kind of like, it's a cost benefit. I'm putting weight on the front, but I'm also putting weight above my center. So there's that as well. So it is helping to counteract pitch up while at the same time adding to the pitch up on another in another sense. That feels better. That worked. It feels better. Um, we got five minutes left. What am I gonna do in these five minutes? I think we have all the functionality that we want. Uh, let's add some paint so it's not gonna be a ridiculous, like just some of it painted, some of it not. Okay, there we go. All painted up now. Um, three and a half minutes. How much? Oh, oh, actually. Uh, no, come back. <laughs> Don't get off while it's going. So of course, I can add uh, wedges. Where's my wedges at? Make it look more professional. This is actually gonna be, this is somewhat time consuming because then wedges you have to paint individually. I cannot wait until draggable wedges. This is a lot of wedges. This actually might take up the rest of the time, especially if I wanna paint, paint them. All right, there we go. Minute left. I really wanted to put something more around the seat, but I just don't have the time for it. Let me go ahead and drive this thing back to the starting point. I mean, I really, nothing I can add right now is going, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna be able to finish anything that I can add right now. So I'm just not even gonna try. But design-wise, I mean, it looks okay. I think it could look better. I spent way, way more time than I thought I was going to fixing stupid mistakes because I just wasn't paying enough attention to what I was doing. But um, functionality-wise, this is definitely the most stable boat I have and it is the easiest one to drive and it is the most functional. We've got turning, we've got uh, braking in reverse if we need it. Uh, so yeah, this is definitely this boat will not get stuck whereas the other ones would if you went head-on into something Where did I leave my other boats by the way? Are they over here somewhere? There they are Ah, there's my all right time's up time is up and Here are the results This boat is not as easy to get up on land, but hey, it's a boat. That's not that's literally not the point Oh, I should have put a suspension mug on it. That's what I was missing this boat is clearly the superior one, the five minute boat. All right, well, now let's do an ABC comparison. Aesthetically, really easy. Let's just take a look. Uh, this is boat number one, one minute boat, 60 seconds to build this thing. Boat number two, definitely more resembles a boat. Uh, five minutes to build this thing. And then boat number three went a little bit uh, overboard with, you know, I got a little bit creative with this one. <laughs> Does it resemble a boat? I don't know. It almost kind of looks like a crazy weapon of sorts. I, I, it's a weird one. I took inspiration from the catamaran style, but it's definitely not quite the same thing. All right, now let's uh, refresh ourselves with the functionality of these things. So the one minute boat, function wise, uh, we pretty much instantly flip over upside down. Uh, it is functional upside down as long as you have the appropriate uh, underwater breathing equipment should be fine It has the added benefit if you go in a strict follow cam in first person you will be transported to another realm, but um, Functionally not that great. It has no reverse. It cannot remain upright at all and uh, it, It's relatively slow as well. All right. Well, so that's the one minute now. Let's check out the five minute one uh, this one Definitely sits in the water much better. It is very fast. It does feel a little bit awkward. It's hard to stay straight. It wants to keep turning you, so you gotta constantly correct yourself. Otherwise, you'll just spin out for some reason. It's like a car with no grip on the rear wheels. Like it just, the back just keeps wanting to spin out. If I don't do anything, this is what it does. It just, 
it literally spins out. It does donuts. I don't I don't know why. But it does have the added benefit of staying upright and not drowning the uh, the driver. So there is that. And that took five minutes to build. Aesthetically way better. Could use a paint job, but it is what it is. And then the 30 minute build. Actually, can this thing, I probably can't just go in. Oh my, oh, okay. Oh wow, this thing's more powerful than I expected. Um, so here we go, 30 minute build. Sits in the water, very stable. Way more stable, it just stays so level. Look at this thing. If I just if I just hold the thrust and don't press anything, perfectly straight trajectory, completely even. Um, it does slowly tilt up over time. There is that. Nothing that's gonna ruin the ability to go where you want to go or stay feeling you know steady and safe. So I think it actually works out really well. Like here's first person. Really nice. I do like the uh, the rudder effect on the front. And I did, I, that worked out really, really well for turning, despite not having turning on the um, on the the backside there. And actually, this thing can get out of the water. Surprisingly, I just think I didn't I didn't just go for it. Just had to commit. You know, I gotta say, despite the 30 minute one not turning out as awesome as I was hoping for it to turn out, um, it's actually a considerable improvement over the five minute one at least. And that's that's the least I wanted to hope for was that it would be an improvement over the previous version, given how much more time I put into it. So that is the one minute, five minute, 30 minute boat challenge. Are there other one five thirty challenges you'd like to see on the channel? What other kind of stuff? I'll leave a playlist to all the ones I've done so far so you don't leave the suggestions for things I've already done. And you can go check them out if you hadn't seen them already. Anyway, I hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.